So with the mini release, we had to give him a try. JJ Okocha, the 90 rated 5-5. He has got himself an 89 as well. So they always do this with him. He's got an 88, an 89, and now a 90. Why they couldn't have made him at least a 91? But in terms of positioning, we've got Cam, right mid, or striker. He is obviously for Lee Gun for this version, and he does have finesse and pinged pass as the two play star pluses. Very good for a Cam, which is always nice. He's got a bit of a passing element and also a bit of shooting. We have got the chip shot, incisive pass, technical flair, trickster, and relentless and Travella as the other play styles as well, which is always good. And in terms of stats, we're looking as good as you can imagine. We've gone with the hunter because why not with him? He's definitely got the forward in him. He will keep himself in explosive, just normal explosive as well, but with 97 pace and 92 shooting. He has obviously needing a little bit more passing potentially to make him more of a threat of a cam. So if you are not necessarily going for a goal scoring player, then definitely looking at something of that could be the option. He's going to come in really cheap, especially with that 85 times 60 pack. If people are opening it up, he seems to be one that is coming out quite a lot 205,000 I think I've paid 197 at the moment for him so hopefully we make a little bit of profit or just at least take the tax so let's jump into him in fact the one thing I did want to check 33,000 and genuinely it's just a normal upgrade he's got oh okay that's fair enough chip shot and trickster no I'd stick with the 90 Right then, it has been a long time since we've used a JJ, to be honest. His obvious hero base. Oh, can we get that touch? Lovely. Into the volley. Bastoni, very nice. Okay. What have we got on the... Ooh. That's decent free kicks, I must admit. So hopefully, if we do get lucky, we could get a cheeky free kick out of him. Little one into him. And Bappe... Ooh, very lucky with the defending there. JJ into Coleman. Can we get something nice? Get a good first touch. Into him again. There's the little turn. Fake again. Was hoping we could find some sort of challenge. It doesn't look like he wants to really go against us. Can we get a little bit of a flick? Into a volley. I mean, I've not really put, I've not even put that one off before, so that could be really nice to get that chance on the go. Big push into him. Can we find that through ball? Into a volley from Coleman and a good save from Schmeichel. At the minute, straight first impressions, first 13 minutes of the game. I'm quite liking him. He's there, here, there, and everywhere, and most definitely putting himself in there. And Bappe just forgot the ball, which is always fantastic. Ooh, finding himself a bit down the wing here. What can we find? Oh, okay. I mean, just lose the ball easily there. Can we find one more inside? Then one more inside again. Looking for that finesse. Good block again. I keep forgetting with so many different play styles on these players. I always forget what they've actually got. Good block from Campbell. Gives it him straight back. Have another go. And Virgil just dealing with it nicely. There he is. Left foot across goal. Good save from Schmeichel. I fought the finesse, but big old Virgil was standing in the way. Oh, I'm liking that kind of flick in the middle. It does its justice. Love JJ's dribbling. Left foot across. Gotta be. Virgil needs to literally go away. Oh, in and behind. Left foot volley. Stupid, absolutely brilliant from him. As soon as he gets on the ball, he's so calm with it. And this is why this starting JJ, I think he's nice, but I never really get on well with him. I think he needs an upgrade to really put himself in that next level. And this card definitely is the start of it. And then hopefully when we do get the footies, that's when we start to really see the big boy JJ, which most definitely is a very, very good card. The dribbling already is at top level, being the 5-5. Five five, so... It's always nice to see him at the minimum at that high level. And there we go. Get rid of that one. So it is, it's is—it's a good start for him. Maybe, like I say, with the 89, it, it's a shame that he didn't get a couple of upgrades on top of it. But he does have better playstyle pluses, which I will definitely take. Like, I'm, I don't really want chip shot or trickster. It, it just isn't happening. Oh, and again, get the header. 
in the middle. Honestly, he got the aerial plus as well. Absolutely brilliant. Volley and header. Never going to complain one bit from that. Can we find him again? He's going to go straight down the middle. Turn Virgil inside out. Nope. Virgil never gets turned inside out. <laughs> there he is. Oh, he's done him. Oh, I... Do you know the worst thing is? I saw him move and I still went that side. <laughs> Do it. I mean, so we got volley, header, overhead kick. What can this man not do? That is a brilliant hat trick. Oh, it's got to be. Oh, Schmeichel, good save. Good save. So going into JJ then, his overall, I was very happy with him. I think for me, he's a very good player as a mini release. He's obviously one of the better heroes that you can get through an upgrade. I'm still not totally sold on the fact that he's got an 88, an 89 and a 90 now. It just seems to be the, the classic thing this year of just a one upgrade. If he was to go from the 88 to the 90, at least it's a, a, a decent upgrade with the playstar pluses. He's got a 5-star 5-star five five now compared to the 5-4. So it is, I suppose, at least a little bit more than just a bit of stat upgrade. That That's kind of fair enough. And when you look at him in terms of stats, we go with the Hunter on him because if we're wanting more attacking there, he's going to be the better option. 97 pace, 92 shooting. Finishing could do with a bit of better, but as we saw, he's got a volley on him like no other. Header, volley, overhead, just as a little sneaky one around the corner. He's got it all. So that for me is a big plus on him. Whether he's going to be in your top budget team is more than likely not. We've got so many options, it's absolutely crazy. So... This is purely down to a league gun team, Nigerian team, or just really like JJ. If you're finally waiting for that upgrade, it's here. Granted, you could have a 90 upgrade on him already, but it wouldn't have been a 5 star, 5 star either, and it's not quite the same level. Plus, you've got to have, unfortunately, the trickster and a tiki taka. I think these playstar pluses are much better. Now, in terms of where they could have gone better with him, I think. Adding a little bit more of a 91-92 would have been better because like we've seen in previous games, we get the Trophy Titans, for instance, if we take last year. Team of the season is going to be packed and especially this year with all the women in there as well. So there's not going to be any room for Icon or, or Heroes during that time. That's like six to eight weeks, I'm pretty sure. Then we've got the Euros. I could imagine we will get some sort of hero or icons during that it's it's got to be and then footies so this card is the best jj for the next two months pretty much guaranteed so i feel like they could have gone one more up and i, and I think that's where they went with a lot of them when you look at a 97 cruyff 94 carfield like they can last quite a while same even with cola to be honest even a berber at 93 he's going to be able to last a little bit may not be the best card in the world and to be honest most of them other than the top of the top are not going to last team of the season, especially if we get triple play stars. There's just going to be too many. So whether they do introduce SBCs or mini releases of them, it will be an interesting one. But nonetheless, was very happy with him. I would say, I'd say around about a nine to like a nine two. I don't think he could go any more. The five five's great. Pace is great. Finishing was good enough. Passing's decent. Dribbling's phenomenal. And then physicality is not really there. But to be fair, his dribbling did all the talking.